good morning on this video we're gonna be doing something different something as far as I know has never been done in the city of Manchester we're back down here at the park with a boat ramp got my nephew down there I don't know what he's, he's shoveling some sand off the ramp but uh I've been on kayaks John boats and bass boats on this river and I've seen everybody else on John boats and bass boats I've never seen anybody with a pontoon I've been wanting to do this video for a minute. It's uh, it's hard to find a good time where the boat ramp is clear. It's usually all nasty and muddy. But uh, I believe today's the day. We got old Mitch with us today. Uh, gonna try to catch a few muskies. We're gonna try to catch all kinds of stuff. Just anything we can get to bite our hooks. We're gonna do a catch and cook today too. So if we catch enough and we get a little hungry, I got my stove and seasonings and all that good stuff on there. So like I said, I got my nephew back here. Got Mitch over here, and got my son in the vehicle. But uh, ain't nothing to it but to do it. So let's see if we can't get her back down in the water. All right, boats in the water, trailers parked. Come on, baby. Got a crackhead over on the bridge. She mad yelling and cussing at somebody this morning. Hope we have a better trip than she does. All right. Pontoon is in the water. We're gonna get on here. We're gonna drift all the way down. Hopefully we'll make it down to the dam today and work our way back up. But we're just gonna see what all we can get to bite a line. And like I said, we're gonna try to do a catch and cook. So let's see how it goes. Oh got him. <laughs> God duh. That's a good one there, there's your musky boys. Yep. Hup, 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 hup. Don't you do that now. We ain't crazy, Terry. <laughs> Snow it off, faces. You got flowers? What about it? That's a here. musky. We'll get him out. We'll lay him up here. And, uh, I never saw a fish that big. Uh, here, Mitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're all right. I'm for all faces. <laughs> That's what editing's for. Huh. That's a good one, Terry. Yep. I'm going to say. 30 here on the dot. What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. you, got, you got any bigger, bigger flyers? Yeah. I'm going to break it and get it back. That's the hard part. That's what I like to say you're a terrible. That makes me happy enough. <laughs> happy enough what? I can say that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kind of love that. You can say that no more. We didn't even get fully situated on the pontoon yet. We're still <laughs> at the boat ramp. <laughs> Mitch we made the first cast. Raised it. Before we could even get the camera going. He, he raised it right over here. Mm -hmm. And my nephew was, what was he using? A whopper plopper? Yep. Black and orange. Black first and cast. orange whopper plopper. First cast. Please. First cast. Out that way. Hooks him right here, right next to the, right next to the boat. Come on, there you go. Watch the holes now. I got my little piggies exposed here. <laughs> Hang on, they're getting it up. Yes, boy. Look at that. Hold up, everybody. Let me get your picture. Let me get this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Bring it over towards Silas for a second. Now you gotta watch out for, for these kind of fish because I want you to don't put your finger in his mouth, but look. Seeing big teeth? You seeing big teeth right there? They will cut you out of pieces. Bring back here, Jay. Let's fish here. Yeah. God, uh, That's a good one right there, my boy. Ducky done missed out this morning, ain't it? <laughs> what, baby? Yeah. Ho, oh, oh. ho. All you gotta do is tell him to quit doing that. Quit doing that. See, works every time. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, bring it there. Oh, we're starting to float now, all of us back here. <laughs> hey, stop it. Hey, hey. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down. He still got this flopper in there. That's mm. awesome. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> they do call me the musk and bandits, you know. We we still have to put a line on them. 
I'm gonna say, I said 30, but I believe he's better than 30. I got it back here. Right, back here. 31 and 3 quarters. 31 and 3 quarters. That's what I'm talking about. They moved to get me. I'm going to throw him all the way down here. I'll hold the belt. That way he's going to fire. Go ahead. Boy, I tell you, good day. Good morning. Like I said, we even... Oh, I'll let you take care of that. We're still at the boat ramp, boss, because we, we're trying to get everything uh, situated. I mean, you know, since Mighty Mitchell's big hind ends is on the back, we kind of drifted away from the ramp. But first five minutes of being on the water, if you done caught a, over a 30-inch muskie. Like I said, we're just getting started. We got like probably three quarters to a mile to go down before we even get to the dam. And this is the shallow part of the river. Well, shallower, it gets deeper the further we go. But good morning. I like it. Here we go, baby. What Doug said, you kept trying to throw one underneath the trees like that, that hanging over water. Every time you did, you tried to skip it across the water and wind up in the brink. It was, right. He's got nothing, Peyton. Oh. Another muskie. So I'm talking about bucktail boy. Where's your net? I got your net. Right there behind. You're working on that? Yeah. Oh my god. You got five in it, son. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. You got him? Don't let him go, man. Give him a second. Let him follow that out. That's about the same size, if it ain't the same one. Surely it ain't the same one. <laughs> well, the other one was 31 and a quarter. Well, 31 and three quarters. The other one's tail got split in the three. The tail's not split. That's a different one. He's hooked good. No, that's a different one. That looks like a small one. Or a mouse definitely looks like a small one. There we go. Other than our second must get the day, boys. I don't know. That might be the same one. Yeah, it's no. They're spawning. Look at his tail, how bloody it is. Yeah, it is. See his tail split. We're getting ready to find out. Yeah, measure. Where wait a minute, where's your flowers at? We have. Oh my toe. But that crazy, man. As you can see, we thought that might have been the same one, but when they measured it out, the last one was 31 and three quarters, you said? Yeah. And this one's 30 inches even, so just in the first 10 minutes, like I said, you know, there's the boat ramp. He busted one off the boat ramp, busted another one right here. That's two musky in less than 10 minutes. Still ain't made it that far from the boat ramp. We still getting everything situated. We've uh, run into a few problems, like, the remote to my trolling motor forgot it at the house had to run back and get it but uh just as soon as we get back my nephew done hooked up on another muskie and got it in the boat they're back there messing with it right now so uh for mr for this the fan that left a comment here about wanting to see us muskie fishing buddy we're right down here just across the road from rolling stinson park as you can see right there, still the boat ramps. I mean, not even that far, and he's done hooked up on two already to this morning. So, all right, finally got everything situated. Them boys done got their poles on water. You done see my nephew's done hooked up on two muskie already this morning. Mitchell's missed one. You know, that's a good morning. 
not hot, not too cold. Uh, done seen a deer this morning too. I'm not sure if it's still over there. It was over there on the bank, coming down to the water. You know, it's just a beautiful morning. But uh, they're going to be musky fishing off the bank. I'm going to be fishing for anything else on my smaller poles. But uh, that's not a bad part about it, though. That's an artificial pole. Uh, you already know what's on it. Same thing I always start out with. Old faithful rooster tail. And uh, on the other pole, this is a live bait pole. We got night crawlers. We're going to be using this morning. And if we happen to catch a good sized minnow or you know something we can use as bait, we've got a bunch of other poles. You know, we're just gonna, we're gonna try to fish for anything and everything that we can catch this morning. And uh, if we catch a few bass and good sized bluegills, like I said, we're gonna do a catch and cook. We brought seasonings, we brought a all that good stuff. So Let's see how it goes. Like it. It says, it anyway. says the water is 5.6 feet right there. I got my bobber at 5 foot, so that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to try the old rooster, folks. Everybody say, oh, that's not cool. I'm going to put that. Those up there are the solid chains. No, that's what they call brain. Go ahead here. I got me a three pounder, mate. Tell yet. But I do see some logs over in the water, so put me a night crawler on. This is what I caught that pumpkin seed on, or that long gear, whatever you want to call it. Last time I've been there on the kayak, so we're going to give it a try and see if we can't catch something smaller while they're catching the big
can't get away from us if you do. Mm -hmm. You might see a good sized bass out in the open. A lot of times if they're small, they're going to be sticking around any kind of trees. They can get around anywhere they can get away from us. You can't cover, yeah. Well, that other thing piled out here, nobody stick it up there fighting with it. Can't pile up. Yeah, nah, I got enough. I cut it out. Yeah, that's the way it's going to be. Yeah, that's the way it's going to be. Well, I mean, it's not going to be. Well, that's what I'm saying. Look what it does to you. It takes forever to get that out. You're way down. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, you get it at Bass Pro Shop. It's, uh, called Pro Line. Where? Was that big fish or little fish? I got a couple bites over here. Blow, get a bite. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. I think we're getting the old sponge here. Used to be, it used to be, well, it is supposed to be. They're biting. Did you catch that? Yeah, it's like one o'clock more ago. I don't 
one type for sure. I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy me a musky me a bat. Won't get the hooks. Yeah, that's they're hard to find. They're expensive, aren't they? Yeah. Show it better to the camera. Here, while I was trying to tie a hook onto another line, I ended up catching this little feller. Whoop. There you go. There you go there. Give it to Jay. Okay, no, that's the bottom right there. Yeah, that's the bottom. Right there. Hung up on the Whatever it is. Yeah, one little wheel right there. Stop look here, mate. I'm getting a bite. Who's short for this? Are you getting a bite? Yeah, look. Yep. Yeah, that's blow you. Yeah, it's yeah. letting you line up while we go over here. If it starts going out rare now, <laughs> that's more than blow you. See, we'll smack it right there out next to the boat. I thought right there. Wild, wild. Yeah. Catfish shit. Uh, catfish shit or there's musky bread. I ain't caught no giant yet. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
told me I was crazy for putting a pontoon in down this river. Wouldn't be deep enough. It's plenty of deep enough. Who said that? That buddy I talked to. Every time I mentioned about wanting to do a video of putting this pontoon in down this river, so he's like, move. Too shallow. You, you bottom out. You'll have to get hauled out. They're crazy. I'm not crazy. They're crazy. 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 I'm hung up with some kind of bank on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Another little bait fish. That's three if it can. Well, I'm hung up. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's all your fault. I'm biting that now, do you anyway? Look at that one there. Got the nice little orange tips on the tail and on the fins. That's the belly bead. Yes, hey, look, I'm holding that's the pregnant. That, that's a Not going to use that one for bait. That one's pregnant. Go ahead and pull the trunk That one's a mom fish. Mm. Yeah. yeah, hold it and then we'll put her back in the water because we don't, we ain't going to keep that on her pregnant. Pregnant? Sure enough. I think they done got there. Pregnancy's over with. Yep. What's that? I don't know why I ain't even caught. Smallmouth on this part of the river, but you down on the dam where, where they love sitting at them runoffs, and there's one down there like every there. I catch her every time. Stick them over. I'm trying, but you have to give me, man. Stick them over. My motor only turns so fast. Yep. yep. Stick them over, half. I want to watch this green line right here. That's my line. That's Look at her. I told you she would. Oh, she's always right there. Look what a beautiful sunfish it is. This is my favorite one. This is the same exact one. I guarantee it's the same exact one I caught that on that video of me kayaking fishing down this way. Because she's always right here by this log. Step job, man. Let me let you take a gander at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at that orange color. All the way down orange and blue. Look at that. That is my favorite type of sunfish, panfish. Look at that. Beautiful fish. It's like four different 
kinds of sunfish we've caught in what little time we've been out here. I used to beaver trap up here at my own papa's in the river. Yeah, you see the house around the corner? Yeah. Mitchell. Yeah. That up right up there is where papa was catching big catfish at Mitchell. And this lovely lake there? Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Looks another deer. It's too late to catch it on camera, but right up there on that side of that cliff, I don't know how she got there. The doe was down there. Right. 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 All right. We anchored down for a minute because I'm getting a little hungry and ain't had breakfast. So I'm going to make me a brownie sandwich. So we're going to hang out here a minute and see what we can. See what can be caught while uh, we're snacking snack. Huh? You'll say where's Silas at? Did I knock it off again? That's what I was doing. Huh? Oh, I see you. He's way back there. He's got his little tail flicking. He's dead. Got the old Polaroid sunglasses on. <laughs> you ever said that? Ah, I did it too. Polarized, but you probably ain't old enough to remember them Polaroid cameras. Oh, I know. I have one. I wish I still had the one I had when I was younger. It worked for me. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was like, ah, my mother's gone. <laughs> hey! Oh, you got there, Mitch. Oh, yeah, huh? Uh, not sure. Took down blade, yeah. Well, they took, uh, That's a sunfish. I get back this. She's a bigger girl, but another pretty one. Look at that blue there in the face. Orange tips on the tail and the fins. Another pretty little fish. Nibbles. Yeah. No. Use any of them you want. There's lizards, there's worms, there's crawdads, there's. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Which one? Oh, yeah, them. I call them paddle sticks. I didn't know what you were talking about. That smells like a big, bad fish. Probably a coon dragon fish over there. Beaver or river otter. Yeah, you got much back there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they up a dark dark one. I'm going to put it in. You might get a nighttime beaver like that. You buy you a night beaver again. Probably. I'll tell you what I want to do. Look here. I want to go down to Beach Creek. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it again. Nothing. <laughs> Must be a little mess of them over. Huh? That's a good thing. Get big. 
Getting bigger each time he catches one. Look at that. You can see the pretty orange line. Like I said, look at there. That blue on the face. There. What time I'm sitting there showing you, he's done, he done hooked a nut. I gotta put this back on. That's a little wetter. Put this up there. Look at that. Huh? Yeah. Ah. Silas, go grab it. Put it in there. Yeah, I'm back. Right. Right. There you go. You want to show it off to the camera for me? To the camera. Silas is going to show this one off first. Look at there. Yeah. Nice little bait fish. I'm going to stick it right here in the live well. Are you going to put it in there? Mitchell done reeled his bait back in. Look at here, bro. <laughs> we crowd at it. Tell you what, we catch a few more of them. Might just stick him in a pot and boil them up and eat them. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Look at there. He's, woo, he's trying to get me. He's missing a claw, though. Mm. I'll tell you what. Yeah, catch more, a few more of them right there good size. We'll just stick him in a pot and boil them up. <laughs> well, we're not going to keep that one. It pinched Jay's finger, and when he snapped it, he snapped it right back over in the water. What are you doing? <laughs> I said we're going to catch a different variety of stuff, boy, we sure have. We've caught musky, two musky, about five, four or five different species of panfish and a crawdad. We ain't even made it halfway down to the dam yet. We still got a long stretch of river to go. I'm not on the pontoon. I'm currently over here where we've seen all these raccoon turds at. So we finally got it. Now it's a fat pregnant. Well, when you get back on the boat, I'm tangled up now. Well, I tell you what, I'm about every one of these that you've been catching pregnant. But I tell you what, look at her, boy. She is about to pop. Like, she sneezes the wrong way. She's going all over herself. There's going to be babies flying everywhere. Yeah. Go toss her back in the water. That's what I do. Huh? Got him up. Yeah. Is that a... No. Nope. No. No. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute, buddy. You got nothing. I ain't catching nothing eating size just yet besides them musky, but you can see she's about to pop as well. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. You want to toss the brake? I need you having some bass, boys. Well, I've been trying to catch bass all that thing here, and I ain't even <laughs> smell bass. What do they smell like? Uh, it's just bass. Yeah, nothing. They showing up. No. They said they ain't hitting. That's a bite size. Not a little bite size. Which butter? Yeah, I brought my guard for you. My guard bait. I brought my guard bait. Okay. Hey, Pate, hand me a small pole. That's a birdie one right there, isn't it? Yeah. Spotted. There we go. Shoot. Why are you getting up? I don't know. She's up here. Look here, that's the first any of us has seen. Look here, a gar, long nose or a spotted, I can't tell which one it is. Where's the flower at? Here. Look at there, look at there. Is that your first gar, Mitch? First one I've ever put my hands on. <laughs> and there is all kinds of them out here. They're just everywhere you look on this stretch of river. Shoot, look here, hang on, let me, let me get this turned around. There's two right out here, right there in the water. It's kind of hard to see with the reflection. Look, which there's one right next to the boat. There's a group. There's a there's a big group of them back to there, like four or five in a group, just everywhere you look on both sides of the river and in the middle. So. If you like gar fishing, come up here on this strip. Look at one, two, three, four. Four of them out there, one over here, out there. One yeah. Back. First yeah. one ever. <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. What was that? Three, four, five species in 86? There you go. Hopefully, we can get us one of them big ones we've been looking at. Some good ones in here, uh, but, uh, well, I have to take a minute because my phone's about dead. I've been letting it charge. I just went ahead and jerked it off the charger right quick while Mitchell was bringing that one in. So we get another and we'll bring it out back. All right, I told you we was going to make it to the dam. Well, guess what? There's the dam. That over there, that's the area that you see me go fishing at all the time where I caught them uh, smallmouth stuff at. We're on the upper side this time. I'll tell you what, that other area, where's that? Full of gar. I bet we've seen what, boy? Probably 12, 15 of them big soft shell turtles in this little area. They've done a lot of stuff for this picture. Yeah, that, 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 that little metal wall ain't there no more. It's this big rock wall. That might we went over that metal wall and kayaks up there. Yep. You know, they got tied off to a tree. I don't know. There you go. Let's get y'all a better view of the dam. Beautiful. Oh, something moving in the water. That's how it's in yet. No, you weren't. There's something catching bait. Look at that. Like I said, uh, right over there is the area where you can drive down and climb down the bank. And you can fish the lower part just below the dam. Good place for smallmouth. Let me get it turned around here. There we go. Water's down a little bit now. You can see all these rocks. Last time I was over there fishing, the uh, water's up. You couldn't see this top layer of rocks. It used to be a fun place to kayak down there. Used to be a little runoff over here. You could kayak and go all the way down it. But uh, I'd say now you have to get up, and get out, and walk across. It.
good stretch of river and like you said we've got four or five different species of sunfish panfish whatever you want to call them musky gar crawdads almost caught a few turtles well that's about it for today we're making our way back to the boat ramp you've seen all the fish we've caught uh, unfortunately we didn't catch anything to do the cooking or catch and cook with but uh we'll give it a try again some other time right now as soon as we get back here i'm gonna go up and see how hard it's gonna be to get this pontoon back out of the river but uh thank you all for watching mitch jay silence <laughs> be safe, put God first. There you go. You heard it here. Thanks for watching.